Brakataya hawa, brakataya hawa shai, brakataya hawa, brakataya hawa shai, brakataya hawa, brakataya hawa shai. Call halayam la yahawa ba sham yahawa shai. The true, holy, powerful, and mighty name of the Heavenly Father is Yahawa. And the true, holy, powerful, and mighty name of His only begotten Son is Yahawa shai. That the Mashanak abad lies according to Shoyah Shirala give double honors to the elders of Israel, being the apostles and the elders of great millstone that rule well. Shalom wahab la bakiyah Shoyah Shirala, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Come back at y'all again with another lesson. Baharu Chakodash Amaf and the Holy Spirit of Truth. And um, the title of this lesson is going to be something along the lines of Jesus Christ is going to disappoint a lot of people. All right, I was talking to this Iskrite at my job. Who knows I'm into the scriptures and into the Bible. I be cutting his ass every every time we talk about the scriptures. He's making a he-he-ha-ha -ha joke about the coronavirus. Uh, he said, you uh, you scared of the coronavirus? I said, nah, the coronavirus scared of me. He's like, yeah, me too. Jesus got me. I'm like, man, <laughs> I, I, I already pretty much told him letter J didn't come, when the letter J came about and come about to uh, what the 1600s till after whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus uh, uh, was born. Th damn near 2000 years after he was born. That's when that letter came about. So his name couldn't be Jesus. Furthermore, the Lord was a Hebrew Israelite. Matter of fact, we gonna, we, we'll just get into these scriptures. All right. Is Hebrews chapter 7 and verse 14. It says, For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah, of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. So our Lord, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, his real name being Yahweh Shai, he came from Judah. Judah was an Israelite, right? The tribe of Judah descends from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, who were Hebrews. They spoke, this is the book of Hebrews, <laughs> all right? So furthermore, let's go into the book of Acts. He wasn't a Greek. The word Jesus is not even, really the word Jesus is not even Greek. All right. It's not Latin either. In, in Latin be uh, Jesus. All right. In the Greek, it be Aesus. All right. So he, neither Jesus is not even, it's, it's a made up, it's not even real. All right. And then when you ask a Christian, what does Jesus mean? He's talking about Jesus got you. Jesus is going to save you. What does Jesus mean? They don't even know what it means. It means savior. All right. It's a Greek title. All right, and that's not the name that his mother gave him. Let's go into the book of um, Matthew, the first chapter. This is Matthew chapter 1 and verse 21. It says, and when you read this Matthew, the first chapter, it reads, it, it goes into the lineage of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. All right, <clears throat> and it names his forefathers, and all his forefathers were uh, men of the tribe of Judah who were who all Hebrews. All right, they all spoke Hebrew. So this is Matthew 1 and verse 21. It says, And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai, for he shall save his people from their sins. So the angel told Joseph what uh, the name of his son is going to be, all right, and what his name meant, okay? It says, He shall call his name Yahweh Shai. What does Yahweh Shai mean? For he, right, Yah means he, shall save his people from their sins. Uh, Hawashai means to save, to deliver. Okay? Yah Hawashai, he saves, he delivers. Who does he who is he coming back to save? Who is he coming back to deliver? His people and his people are only starting with the elect of the nation of Israel. Not all people. Let's go to another scripture <clears throat> to prove that his name could not be Jesus. Alright? Uh, Jesus is 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 English. Mary wasn't speaking the Mary wasn't speaking English. All right, Joseph, Salakia, Joseph, first and foremost, Joseph, because that's who the angel came to in that instant that we were speaking. He wasn't speaking English. Okay, Mary wasn't speaking English. Yahweh Shai didn't speak English. He spoke Hebrew. All right, so his name would have to have been in Hebrew, just like a person that speaks Chin Chinese. He has a Chinese name. All right, or a person that speaks speaks uh, African dialect. All right, Swahili. He'll have a Swahili name. All right, so on and so forth. All right, someone that speaks Spanish, they're going to have a Spanish name. All right, so this is the book of Acts, chapter 26 and verse 13. It says, At midday, O king, I saw on the way a light from heaven above the brightness of the sun shining round about me and them which journey with me. And when we were all fallen to the earth, I heard a voice speaking unto me and saying in the Hebrew tongue. And now it's in the red letters. So this is Yahweh Shai, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus. He's speaking. All right. And it says it is saying it in English, but really when he said it originally, it was all in the Hebrew tongue, as we just read. 
Let's read it again. And when we were all fallen to the earth, I heard a voice speaking unto me and saying in the Hebrew tongue, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. And I said, Who art thou, Lord? And he said, So, of course, when he replied, he replied in the Hebrew tongue. Paul also knew how to speak Hebrew. So this whole conversation is in the ancient Hebrew. The Lashawan Kwadash. It says, And I said, Who art thou, Lord? And he said, I am Yahweh Shai. For that whom thou persecutest. That was all in Hebrew. Alright. I am Yahweh Shai whom thou persecutest. Alright. So he even said his name in the ancient Hebrew. That's the that's the language of the heavens. Alright. That's the name that's the language that Moses spoke. That's the that's the language that the Heavenly Father gave uh his name to Moses. Alright. And that's the that's the name that the prophet spoke, or that's the a language that the prophet spoke. Alright. Isaiah, Jeremiah, that's the language that the disciples spoke, the language that Yahweh Shai spoke, all right? And the Lord, as it says in the book of Zechariah, it says that the Lord gave us, um, that gave us his, um, uh, the holy tongue that we may call upon his name. Let me, let me grab that. This is the book of Zechariah, chapter Uh, this is uh, on Zephaniah, I believe. Zephaniah chapter 3 and verse 8. It says, Therefore wait ye upon me, saith the Lord Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations, that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them mine indignation. Even all my fierce anger for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. So the Lord's determination... All right, is to gather these nations and to pour out upon them his indignation, his wrath. All right, so you see the the Lord got got some flow. All right, and that's that's this is where we're putting all our we're putting all our eggs into this basket. All right, all our hope, all of our faith is in is Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai having mercy upon us. All right, we're waiting upon Him. Verse nine it says, "For then will I turn to the people a pure language." That they may call upon the name of the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai to serve him with one consent. So the Lord so the Lord gave us that pure language back, man. So that what we can call upon his holy name. Right? And serve him with one consent. It says in the book of, well, I'll jump down, to verse 12, it says, I will also leave in the midst of thee an afflicted and poor people, and they shall trust in the name of the Lord Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, the true name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and the true name of his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. That's the pure language right there. All right? And that's and we believe that through faith, according to the scriptures, the pure language will have to be given back to us. All right? The pure name of the Heavenly Father would have to be given back to us. The pure name of His only begotten Son would have to be given back to us according to what I just read. All right? And we believe 100% that the true name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, the same name that He gave to Moses. And we believe that the true name of the only begotten Son is Yahweh Shai, the same name that the angel told Joseph to name his son in Matthew's the first chapter. All right? And as it says in the book of Acts, I'll get that. This is Acts chapter 4 in verse 12. It says, Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. There's no other name besides the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shia, whereby we must be saved. It says that in the book of St. John. Says that uh, anything that you ask of the Father, ask of me, and I will give it to you. Roughly paraphrasing. That's why we say Yahweh, the true name of the Heavenly Father, Bahasham, which means in the name Yahweh Shai, of His only begotten Son. All right, and those are going to be the names that's going to keep us safe in these last days. In the Book of Proverbs, the 18th chapter, the 10th verse, it says, "The name of the Lord is a strong tower of defense; the righteous runneth into it and is safe." If you call upon that name, Jesus, you're not going to be safe. All right. <laughs> the name Jesus ain't going to do nothing for you. All right. But get you into some more damn trouble. Furthermore, when you type in Jesus. In Google, this is who comes up. All right. So when you hear uh, when you hear uh, ISUPK talking, this is Jesus. This is what I typed in. Jesus Christ. When you hear ISUPK talking about Christ this is who they this is who they talking about. 
All right. When you hear um, IUIC, all right, Israelites united in Christ, this is the guy that they're talking about. This demon, all right. Look at his hand. Why? Why in every um, picture he has those hand signs, man? All right. Hey, you look at um, you look at uh, Balfamet. Balfamet uses the same hand signs. This dude is a demon, and he was a man that lived. All right, he was a mortal man that lived. All right, he'd never risen from the dead. His his real name is Cesare Borgia. All right. Yeah, son of um, what what's his name? The sixth pope, the sixth pope of Rome, Rodrigo Borgia. All right, Rodrigo Borgia. All right, and uh, if you go back further, all right, it goes back to Serapis Christus. All right, this is this is look at this guy, man. This guy. It says that the uh that Yahweh Shai, whom the world only calls Jesus, he's coming back to wage war. This dude's not about no war. Look at this dude. This dude. This dude is soft, man. All right, and to to be, he looks like a sodomite. He looks like a sodomite and a pedophile, all right. But you calling upon this guy, the people are still in the sleep. But that's the that's because the Lord blinded you, all right. Now when you type in Yahweh Shai, this is what comes up, all right. And this is this is the depiction that's given in the scriptures. Matter of fact, I will read that. This is Revelation chapter one and verse one. It says the revelation of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, which Yahweh gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified by his angel unto his servant John. So this is the revealing of whom the world ignorantly caused Jesus, his real name being Yahweh Shai. Jumping down to verse 13, it says in the midst of the seven candlesticks. And the seven candlesticks, one like unto the son of man, clothed with a garment down to the foot. All right. Just like you see in this image right here to the right. Garment down to the foot. Let's see if I can get a better one. All right. With the garment down to the foot. And girt about the paps with a girdle, girdle, with the golden girdle. He had that war belt because he's a man of war, right? Verse fourteen. His head and his hairs were white like wool, and white as white as snow. So it gave the texture of his hair, and it gave the color of his hair. He had woolly hair, and it was white. All right, just like you see on this image. When you go to the under image, he, this dude's already uh, uh, about to strike out. All right. It says, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. If you zoom in, you can see that this depiction, all right, has, uh, uh, he has red eyes. Okay. It says, and his feet like onto fine brass as if they burned in a furnace and his voice as the sound of many waters. Or right, so they had a deep voice. Unlike when, when they put up that image, all right, of Jesus Christ and they, uh, uh, cast roles for him in these different movies, the different so-called biblical movies. All right. Uh, uh, the, 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 his voice is all soft. He's all soft spoken. Right? I'm going to be honest. He's a bitch, man. All right. But not Yahweh Shai, not our Lord. All right. When you hear his voice, it's going to sound like, like the rushing of many waters, man, like a waterfall. All right. And I can't skip over the main point. It says in his feet, like onto fine brass. So the color of his skin was fine. It was like fine brass. Brass is the, what? The color of brown. All right. It says as if they burned in the furnace. So he was a dark brown man. All right. His his he had a um, dark skin complexion. All right. Dark brown skin. It doesn't match match the image. All right. Of this Jesus character. All right. It said that his hair was woolly and his hair was white. This guy's hair isn't woolly and white. Look at his eyes. His eyes is blue. The scripture said that the, that the, uh, that his eyes was red. The whites of his eyes was red. All right, this dude doesn't he doesn't fit the bill. It says that his skin was was bronze, was brown, as if it burned burning in a fire. It was dark brown. Oh, where where's his golden girdle? He doesn't even have fringes on. All right, he's not even following the law. This this guy is this guy's an imposter. All right, and calling upon him is not going to get you anywhere but death. All right, and when you go back into the law, it says, "Thou shalt have no other god before me. Thou shalt make no mention." Of the names of any other God. The Lord is a jealous power. Right? So you break in the, the, the first commandment. Alright? You break in the first commandment. Let me get that. It's Exodus chapter 20 and verse. Start at verse 3. It says, Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth 
Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord, thy power, am a jealous power, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. That's reincarnation. And showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord, Yahweh, thy power in vain. Right? You shall not take the name of the Heavenly Father, nor the name of his only begotten Son in vain. As we read in Acts, there's only one name whereby we must be saved. All right. Calling upon the Savior, calling upon the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in the name of the Savior, being Yahweh Shai. For the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. He has many names. It doesn't matter what you call him. He knows what I mean. Right. Well, the Lord says he's not going to hold you guiltless, man. OK. So let's go from there. And this is just all off the fly, you know. Just trying to make sure I stay active every single day. Um, and a lot's going on too, man. They talking about the stimulus package, two trillion dollar stimulus package, but it's gonna be a digital currency. All right, so that way they could track everywhere, everywhere you spend it, and it's leading up to the mark of the beast, which we can very well see implemented and enforced here in this year, which means. The return of Yahweh Shai is very, very soon. Okay? Like I said at the end of all my videos, redemption draw off nine and salvation is near than we believe. We can we can be out of here before the end of this year. And that's what I'm hoping for, and that's what I'm praying for, because we need salvation. Alright. <clears throat> and, and through the midst of all this, no one's really looking for the savior to come. They're looking for things to go back to normal. The, I'm talking about these Christians, all right? These people that's calling upon Jesus. Even some of these Israelite camps looking for things to go back to normal. No, we want things to get worse, all right? We, I'm hoping this coronavirus shit is real, all right? And, and more people drop dead because of it, man. I'm hoping that the troops start slaughtering people, just start mowing people down, man. I'm hoping for that to happen, man. All right? I'm hoping that this economy collapse in this month, in this next month. All right, within the next month, I'm hoping the whole dollar is collapsed, that the whole economy is crushed, man. People are excited over this damn stimulus, man. Fuck that. All right, we're looking for this place to go down, and that, that's just another way to get closer to their agenda. Right? There's no way shit can go back to normal. Every, the whole world is locked down, all right? It's not something that's just going to blow over. The whole world is locked down. Not just America, not just a couple states, all right? The whole entire world is locked down. All right. So this is um, 1 Corinthians chapter 11 in verse. Um, let's see. Um, I'm looking for where it says another Jesus. Right. I know it's in Corinthians somewhere. All right, 2 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 4. It says, For if he for if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus, which in, the, in is like I said earlier, Jesus is just a, is a Greek title. It means Savior. All right? So I'm going to replace that word Jesus with Savior. For if he that cometh preacheth another Savior, whom we have not preached, or if... He, if ye receive another spirit which ye have not received, or another gospel which ye have not accepted, ye might bear with him. When you go into that word bear, it's the Greek word aneko, which means hold yourself up against. All right, we're against anybody that's calling upon Jesus, calling upon God. Those are not the true names of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. So we are against you. All right. And the Lord is against you also because you're making mention of another God. We just read it in the law. He will not hold you guiltless. All right, in the book of Judges, matter of fact, I'll finish on that. So that shows you there's people preaching another Savior. All right, and this guy ain't going to save you from shit. He's not going to save you from nothing. All right, here's a scripture to prove that. Keep calling upon him, though. All right, keep calling upon him, and this is going to be the result. This is Judges chapter 10 and verse 13. It says, Ye have forsaken me and served other gods. You forsaken the heavenly father, Yahweh. You calling upon God, who also depicted as a so-called white man, an Edomite. You forsaken Yahweh Shai, all right? And you're calling upon Jesus Christ. It says, Wherefore, I will deliver you no more. You're not going to get delivered. 
Verse 14, go and cry unto the gods which ye have chosen and let them deliver you in the time of your tribulation. Call upon Jesus and watch and see. Let's see if he's good. or just like uh, the prophets of Baal. All right. I wish I can get that, but it's, my time is running short. I got to get to the plantation. All right. Uh, you can read that in the book of Kings. I believe it's first Kings. All right. First Kings, you can read about the prophets of Baal and how um, pretty much the Lord mocked them. Through his prophet Elisha, all right, Elisha, uh, uh, it was Elijah, it was Elijah, he said, um, oh, maybe your God is asleep, all right, maybe he's, <laughs> he's, he was talking mad shit, he said, maybe your God is asleep, maybe he's on a long journey, <laughs> maybe he can't hear you, right, and the same with when you call upon Jesus Christ, and maybe that nigga, maybe that nigga got business, maybe he's on lunch, lunch, lunch date, all right. When you call upon him, when the famine gets worse, when the pestilence gets worse, when them troops is knocking on your door, ain't, ain't shit going to happen, all right? Um, I want to get you the chapter, and then I'm going to have to shut it down, but I can't quite find it. Um, all right, I'll just read it real fast. This is 1 Kings chapter 18 and verse 26. It says, And they took the bullock which was given them, and they dressed it, and called on the name of Baal. From morning even until noon, saying, By all, oh, by all, hear us. But there was no voice, nor any that answered. And they leaped upon the altar which was made. And it came to pass at noon that Elijah mocked them. So they called upon by all, all the day long. Nothing happened. Just like when you call upon Jesus Christ, nothing is going to fucking happen for you when shit get rough out here. Verse 27 says, And it came to pass at noon that Elijah mocked them and said, Cry aloud, for he is a God. Right. So Elijah was at his head. Said, so Maybe you need to cry louder. He is a God, right? Either he is talking or he is pursuing. Maybe the nigga's on the phone. All right. Uh, uh, trying to get a booty call <laughs> or he is pursuing or he is in a journey or peradventure he's sleeping it must be awake and they cried aloud and cut themselves after the manner after their manner with knives and lancets till the blood gushed out upon them right so they they, they was let down all right, and that's what this this lesson is going into. You're gonna call upon by y'all any other gods, them them niggas in the black conscious. You won't call upon Ra or the black woman. Call upon the black woman. She's a god, right? She's your god. Have her save you. All right, have her save you in these last days. All right, and her ass is gonna be crying too. Your god is gonna be crying too. All right. But having that said, Lord willing, that was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Akakwadash, Yahweh is the true, holy, powerful, and mighty name of the Heavenly Father. And Yahweh Shai is the true, holy, powerful, and mighty name of His only begotten Son, our Lord and our Savior. Akakwadash is the Holy Spirit that speaks through us, that allows us to rightly divide the word of truth and teach the word correctly and directly. Give double honors to the elders of Israel, being the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Shalom, Akim. You better keep on pushing. All right, stay faithful. Stay diligent. Salvation draw off nine. And redemption is nearer than we believe. Shalom.